Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Welcome back to our channel. Magnus Carlsen, often regarded as the Mozart of chess, is as close to unbeatable in the game as someone can be, but every now and then, even he gets stunned by the person he's playing against, as rare as that may be. Sometimes that opponent is a mere teenager. Teenager stuns Magnus Carlsen, let's take a look into it. Number 5. Magnus Carlsen and the World Rapid Championship Magnus Carlsen had his eyes on his fourth World Rapid Championship. Yep, people who are familiar with chess and how it goes on the upper levels know that winning even one of those championships takes so much that it looks almost extraterrestrial. Magnus on the other hand, as we've said, had three under his belt at that point. Mind you, in order to get his previous titles, the man literally beat Ali Reza Firozzi and Jan Kirstof Duda. In the semi-finals of World Rapid, two players who were feared across the chess universe. Still, no one watching the tournament was all that surprised watching Magnus absolutely dominate. However, there was another contender who wasn't far behind and was also skimming through opponents. That player was 17-year-old Abdusatarov Nobirdek. Nobirdek, even at his age, was a slayer of grandmasters. The kid is known for playing in such a style that even the best of the best shiver at the thought of going up against him. And well, he was about to go against the one and only Magnus Carlsen. Number 4. The Battle Begins In the world of Magnus, going up against a prodigy wasn't anything new. He himself was a prodigy who had taken the heads off of many grandmasters himself as a child. But underestimating Abdusatarov wasn't a wise move on his part. The game started off with Nobirdek playing as white and Magnus as black. Nobirdek made his first move, which was moving his pawn to c4. Strangely, Magnus doesn't make his next move for a whole 20 seconds, before moving his knight in gf6. Start of the game was pretty standard, turning into what is called an English opening, with the white pawns sitting on the e4 and c4 squares, and the black's knights on c6 and f6. The game went on and on in quite an unremarkable fashion, frankly speaking, until Magnus brought out his queen, moving qf6, attempting to trade his queen with Nobirdex, which was sitting on the f3 square. The game was on. Number 3. The Tides Go Up Nobirdex, upon seeing what Magnus was doing, folded his arms, thinking about his next move. Trading his queen for Magnus' queen would end up in an early endgame. If Nobirdek wasn't familiar with Magnus' playstyle and actually went for it, then things would get quite hairy for him, considering that Magnus is a beast when it comes to endgames, so he declines with QD1. Magnus saw this as a good opportunity to go on the offensive, moving his pawn to G5. This resulted in the game resuming in a standard manner, with both sides taking one another's pieces, but not doing that much damage. At one point, Magnus offers his queen to Nobirdek once again at G4. Nobirdek declines. The game continues and Magnus takes his time while making each of his moves. Nobirdek, on the other hand, progresses fairly quickly. Magnus even does his signature fidgeting with a fallen piece thing, which is an indicator that he's lost in deep thought and thinking miles ahead. Before we continue, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying it. Also, press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Now let's get back to what we were talking about. Number 2. The Genius Gets Cornered the game progresses in such a way that both Magnus and Nobirdek seem to be equal when it comes to pieces and those pieces holding positions. Still, from the looks of it, Nobirdek seems calm while Magnus a bit agitated. On top of that, Nobirdek also had a hold of the h4 square, which was not all that favorable for Magnus. Some pawns are traded off. Nobirdek takes over the board further, cornering Magnus and making him realize that winning was no more an option. Magnus forces a bishop and knight trade by forking Nobirdek's queen with kg5. This stops Nobirdek from moving his pawns forward and getting a superior edge on Magnus. Nobirdek still decided to give. Magnus made a few checks, even though that was a huge accomplishment, because not many chess players can ever brag about checking arguably the greatest player to ever live. Number 1. The Teenager Defeats Magnus after Nobirdek went on a back and forth with Magnus, consistently checking him, he decided to move his pawn to h7. One more move and he would have turned his pawn into a queen. Magnus seeing this moves qe5, which was a grave error. But for some reason, Nobirdek misses the opportunity. Magnus then seeks some sweet vengeance, giving Nobirdek a whole lot of checks. The game looked as if it would end in a draw, but Magnus blunders again, moving his pawn up a square. Nobirdek responds with a qd2, checking Magnus. Magnus avoiding the check, moves his king to the square, which forked both his king and his queen. Nobirdek moved right in the middle of the two crucial pieces, and well, that was the end of it, with Magnus resigning. 
there was literally no point in continuing, and just like that, Abdu Satarov Noberdek became the new champ. This brings us to the end of our video, here was a look at when a teenager stunned Magnus Carlsen.